It is time for vlog number three, where we talk about music and how specifically Jam expresses music and and wants to teach music and uh, pass on to people. For me personally, one of the things that excites me about music is variety. Uh, you can see behind me. Why don't you try to count how many instruments are like in this frame? Uh, you got a mandolin and a bass and you got a trombone and uh, I don't know, there's a clarinet back there and um, diddly bow and a few others. Um, that excites me. Now, I know music is highly subjective. Um, some people like... So, uh, for some people... Having this many instruments in a room is really overkill. Um, and I understand that. But I can only express what God put on my heart to express. And one thing I think is cool um, when you're in the position I'm in is that you can inspire all different types of music and, um, and inspire... Um, vibrant, colorful creativity. Um, I, I am highly interested in music from uh, around the world. Um, also here, I mean, I listen to everything you listen to, but I also listen to stuff from around the world, um, stuff from different times. And the music we grew up listening to, whether you listen to a ton of it like me or whether you stick to a few styles, that's what informs the musical expression that that you have and when i write songs um you you hear the flavors of, of everything that was in my musical um toolkit just from listening the rhythmic understanding i have i have a friend named fido who came over a couple weeks ago and was teaching me some latin rhythms and like i could not for all the experience and and you know, know how I have, I could not nail that the nuance of where he wanted me to put the bass hit. And I will get it eventually, Fido. I will get it. But um, it's, but he, since he grew up hearing it, can do that without thinking. And, and that's how music is. So what, one thing I want to provide for, for students I teach is a musical bass where they can pull stuff out and be like, I've heard that before. Um, and ex expand their minds that way. Um, now, let me give an example of of where this goes with me. You see behind me, um, we got Blue Rondo a la Carrot. I'm gonna pull this up. This this gets a little ridiculous. And again, I'm 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 not. Uh, th this is my taste. It might not be your taste, but you want to know where I come from. This is a jazz song called Blue Rondo a la Turk. got a complicated rhythm so G flat Johnson is helping us with the rhythm by saying fruits and vegetables kazoo is harmonizing in the background here you got the Dave Brubeck uh, ghost track I'll take that out eventually Zed Vlad Zevil Meryl Strawberry are in here oh where do we got the rutabaga squash part There's a little preview. I don't know when that's going to be released, but I it, it wasn't even on the priority list, frankly, like in terms of what I need to record, but I just I had it in my head and I had to uh I had to get it out. So, anyways, coming soon. But um so that's one thing is is the variety. Um and, but another thing that I want to communicate that's maybe a little more down to earth is um is I uh, I want to teach certain skills that that 
in some places, again, I guess this is related to your upbringing and what you heard growing up. Um, certain cultures, virtually everyone can harmonize just because they grew up doing it. Um, music is central to the culture and not just listening to music as, as it is in North America. Um, we all listen to music, but we don't necessarily all sing it together. Uh, but in other cultures, even even like my my mom and dad both grew up in a Mennonite church. Um, my mom's a good singer and she would ha- grow up harmonizing with her sisters. Uh, she had a vocal group where she harmonized with her friends. And and if you go to a Mennonite church, at least an old school enough one, they can sing some sweet harmonies. Shout out to Tasha and Eric who had that uh, doxology blah, 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 <laughs> crazy thing at their wedding, um, which was awesome. Um, it, it, cultures who grow up singing harmonies and and other things like rhythms, like we it, if I if I try to get a, a congregation in church like clap into the beat. I can start them off on the right beat, but they'll, they'll soon get lost, right? Um, whereas if you're in like an African culture, oh my goodness, like people are doing the tambourine stuff. And um, anyway, <laughs> what I want to pass on to kids and fun grownups is the ability to do things like that, to, to harmonize, um, to to try out rich rhythms, to add varieties, to make the musical expressions wherever it is we're we're making music richer. And I should say this isn't all about skill. Um, people at a very basic musical level can can do these things, can express music with with feeling. Um, can learn certain skills that like I you know I I try one thing I try to do is I try to teach kids skills that maybe I just learned like a month ago and and I've been playing music for over 30 years but but it it's it's not like you need to play music for 30 years to learn those skills it's just that I didn't learn that <laughs> and so we're trying to convey convey things to kids whatever you have in your toolbox at the time that's what you use and you express that with your fingers and your voice and uh, as as beautifully and as expressively as you can and then you keep adding to that toolbox and we want people of of every age and skill level to be making music beautiful rich wonderful music.